Everybody has their own cardinal rules for what they're going to do when they're carrying a gun. But right now, I'm going to give you three things that you must never do when you're carrying your concealed firearm. All right, stick around to the end because we have a gun giveaway you can enter for free that ends really soon. Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Now, if you're new to this channel, you need to know that we help prepare you for everything you'll encounter before, during, and after a deadly force incident. Okay, now we're getting into the three things you should never do when you're carrying your concealed carry firearm. First of all, this is my everyday carry gun. Let's pull it out, show you that it is clear. Action is open, no magazine, there is nothing in the chamber, and I have visually and physically inspected to make sure there's nothing in the chamber. I'm just gonna set this aside because you know what? We're not talking about this gun right now. We're talking about the holster. First thing you should never do is never carry your gun without a holster. Understand that the holster protects the firearm. The holster keeps the firearm in a ready position, provides you immediate access to that firearm. And the holster is also a safety mechanism. Here we go, you saw the gun was cleared. Don't call me and complain that I'm being unsafe. The holster should always cover the trigger of the firearm to make sure that nothing gets in there and messes with your trigger. Not only could it pull the trigger, could it actuate the trigger and cause the gun to fire, but something could get caught up in the trigger and prevent the gun from firing when you really need it. So that's rule number one that you should never do. Never carry your gun without a holster. There's a reason why we call a gun tucked in the belt felony carry. Don't do it. Carry that gun in a holster, even if you're doing an off-body carry kind of thing, you've got a gun in a concealed carry purse or bag or satchel or whatever, put that gun in a holster and affix it into its own compartment in that off-body carry option. Never carry your gun without a holster. Rule number two, don't be bragging and boasting about the fact that you're carrying a gun. Concealed carry is just that, it's concealed carry. And long time ago, when I took one of my very first concealed carry classes with Masad Ayub, he said, concealed carry provides criminals the ultimate opportunity to make a fatal error in the victim selection process. That's why we conceal the gun, because it gives us the tactical advantage. And really, if people know that you're carrying a gun, they can develop a plan and figure out how to take that gun from you. A while back, I think it was 2011, when Wisconsin got its first concealed carry permit, you know, the concealed carry law was introduced here in Wisconsin. I was at a bar, and some guy is lifting up his shirt, showing me, yeah, I got my gun, I'm carrying it. You know what? Don't want to hear it. Don't brag, don't boast. Just be the gray man. Just disappear. People don't need to know that you're carrying a gun. It's a personal thing. It is for self-defense. That means you're defending yourself Nobody else needs to know that you have it until you need it. So don't brag about it. That's item number two. All right, before we get to the third item, just want to remind you, we've got a gun giveaway going on. Details later. They're coming at the end of the video. Watch till the end. All right, item number three that you should never do. Don't go looking for a fight. This is very important and all-encompassing. Don't go looking for a fight. First, we tell people, if you wouldn't go someplace without your gun, don't go there with your gun, okay? The gun is used for emergency. It is a piece of emergency life-saving gear. It is used for an emergency. But also consider how you're going to act when you're carrying your gun. I had a really good story at a recent concealed carry class that I was giving. One of the people said, yeah, one of my county board supervisors going to court because of what he did. Well, what the county board supervisor did was chase somebody down in traffic a road rage incident. Someone cut off this county board supervisor. He chased them in his truck. When they stopped, he got out of the truck, yelling and screaming, waving his finger at him. And the person in the vehicle noticed that this county board supervisor was carrying a silver Smith & Wesson pistol on his hip. So this guy gets on the phone and calls the police and says, yep, this guy just chased me down in traffic and he pulled out a silver Smith & Wesson pistol and pointed it at me. Now it becomes a he said, he said, we don't know what's true, but all of that could have been avoided if you don't go looking for a fight. So when you're carrying your gun, remember, remain polite, don't go looking for a fight, don't go places with your gun just because you got it and you think you're going to be okay. Everyone thinks they're going to win the gunfight. You might not. 
you might end up getting shot if you have to pull out your gun and defend yourself. So avoid danger. Don't go looking for a fight. Thanks for sticking around all the way to the end. And as promised, we have a gun giveaway. It's going on now, but it ends soon. All you have to do is click in the link below, down in the description, click on the link, and reveal what brand new gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you like these videos, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We'll let you know every time we come out with a new video. Until then, stay safe.